All right, today destination Nottingham. Uh, it's about 310 miles there and back, I think, which is broadly the range of the car. So that's going to be a great opportunity to test whether we can do it in one go, which I, I doubt because we are going to do that on the motorway but more importantly, to test the full battery capacity of the car, right? So let's go. hours of drive 234 kilometers and this is a stop in the motor services there we go we've got 51 percent left Right, we're ready to go again and we've got about 260 kilometers to do maybe and 213 left so that means it's not going to be enough we are going to have to stop I'd rather we stopped as late as possible to get a full sense of how much the battery capacity is but let's see uh, whether we do that or whether we top up a bit earlier just for convenience because frankly uh, we'd rather use the ionities that are pretty decently cheap at the minute. So we have 24 miles left, 10%, and uh, the Ionity station is 10 miles away, I think. Yeah. It's fair to say that the level of anxiety in the car is quite limited. Of course, here we are showing still 5 kilowatt hours, which is a lot to do uh, 10 miles, of course. All right, we've got 6% battery left after 413 kilometers, which is not amazing. Five hours and nearly 30 minutes of drive, however, on 14.9 watt hours per 100 kilometers a good five hours of drive on the motorway then well then then we've got another problem now which is you've got to wait quite a bit today uh, for the charging here at ionity which is uh, maybe because it's it's quite good prices who knows so today we drove from a hundred percent to six percent and that was 413 kilometers at an efficiency of 149 watt hours per kilometer. That's 61.6 .6 kilowatt hours of the battery used. However, we have 6% left, and that means if it were linear, we would have a total of 65.5 kilowatt hours in the battery. However, it is not linear. And therefore, if we look at some additional measurements, we estimate that at 0% state of charge, we would have driven 64.5 kilowatt hours. And that is our final answer. 64.5 kilowatt hours drivable capacity on the Kona Electric 2023. Now, let's finish the trip.
Okay, we've arrived now and we are back in London. We've done 541 kilometers, uh, not really in seven hours, probably more like six hours, but the car was switched on for nearly seven hours and we've done 14.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers pretty much all the time on the motorway. Greater London, sometimes you're on 50 miles per hour. Not too much traffic today. I think that was quite manageable. In terms of efficiency, I think that's a very good outcome. And as we've said before, we had just above 400 kilometers before getting back to uh, 6%, so 100% to 6%, a bit more than 400 kilometers on the motorway. About five hours of drive, that's quite a lot.